has a rough go of it. Um, I mean, when when does she not really? But um, I think she feels profound guilt for having failed to anticipate this attack. You know, um, uh, you know, obviously the attack that 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 devastated so much of the CIA and, and, and the finale, and um, so she's she's just reeling from that really and the CIA is is held under serious investigation and they're having to defend their existence basically uh, and Saul is in a position of you know authority and leadership which we necess we haven't necessarily seen him uh, assume so that that you know illuminates new it, it puts him in a new light um, which is interesting Rhodey he's gone he's gone I'm just gonna use your lens to make my tie better. Thank you. That's very helpful. Thanks. Well, I, I think everyone agreed it got leaked. I don't think everyone was best pleased about that initially. Um, but I think it turns out no one is actually to blame. I just think it was bad security on online. Anyway, so it got hacked. I think, you know, if I was an exec, I would think, you know, a little bit of publicity. That's quite nice. Uh, let's make sure not too many people see it so we can hold it back, you know, for the premiere. And you get to see a bit more of the home life without Brody, where how they're picking up the pieces and moving forward. There's a lot of conflict between Jessica and Dana and a lot of growth that happens there and a lot of heartbreak. Um, and Carrie and the CIA are under a lot of investigation for, you know, what happened at the end of the season and how they were so vulnerable.